Mike in Brayton, Michigan writes to me and he says, how can the sound get better than the first in line? In other words, the turntable or transport or tape deck or streamer or whatever you have feeding it, I agree in a digital system the DAC makes a big difference, but it starts with the quality of the signal going in. The old saying, gigo, garbage in, garbage out. This is an age old argument that we've been through a few times. And sometimes I think it's good to revisit these, these questions. So it comes down to source versus output. Now, I have always been a fan of paying the most attention to the output, to your loudspeakers, to your power amp, to the, that end of the spectrum. Because the other side of this argument is, no matter what you put into a system, if it can't faithfully reproduce it, then it doesn't matter. Okay, that's that other side of the argument. Their side is, if you can't get it off the source either at all or properly, what difference does a great output make? So it's this source versus output. And we've been through this, like I say, a few times, but I think part of the issue with this whole debate is one of extremes, right? We all agree that if you have the best speakers in the world, they're not going to be much help if you've got garbage coming into the system, right? But that's an extreme. How many of us actually have garbage coming into the system? Well, not many of us audiophiles. We've all got pretty decent setups, let's be honest, okay? So you're not putting garbage in. And in my experience, over the past 50 years, I have seen far worse examples of loudspeakers mucking up the sound than I ever have of the sources being bad. Let me give you an example. You go down to Walmart and you pick up a $30 DVD player and you use that as your source into your DAC. Is it okay? Well, I mean, it'll work. Can we do better? Oh my gosh, yes. We can do so much better. But I would take a $30 DAC from Walmart, uh, or I said transport, but I, I would take a $30 DAC from Walmart, played through a good system with great speakers, than the opposite. A $30 DAC through a good system playing through crap speakers. Because speakers are the real Achilles heel. They are two to three dB variability. That's huge. Some of them don't have any bass. Some of them hoot like this. Some of them have narrow dispersion. Some of them have very wide dispersion. They are all over the map speakers. So the biggest variabilities you're ever going to get are in the loudspeaker. And that's why I have consistently said, pay attention to your loudspeaker. Go to somebody that you trust that knows what good sound is and buy a speaker from them. Because if you do that, you'll always have a better presentation of music that's more enjoyable in your home than if you put all your money into the source. Don't ignore the source, not at all. But if you have to make a choice, that's the choice I would recommend.